guys, this is Dr. Jessica, your holistic Dr. Mama, where I teach you how to love your body, empower your mind, and nourish your spirit. Welcome, Rebecca. She is the crunchy mama bear, and she has amazing products, which I can't wait to share with you. But I want to first start off with hearing her story. So, Rebecca, will you go ahead and share with me what, what is all this right here? Um, so this is um, a line that I've created. Um, basically out of needs that we had in our own life and it just kind of evolved from there. But I actually started out making bug spray. Um, I thought... I didn't know that. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, so I have a seven-year-old when he was a young kid and like, you know, one or two, I like made up this um, bug spray made up of herbs and essential oils and um, I didn't... I was like, what's worse? The bug getting bit by the bug or the nasty chemicals that are in most bug sprays? Yeah. And so I made that, and then I started making a sun butter, which is a sunscreen, and um, I just, yeah, like I said, it evolved over time. And so my idea is to take products that we use every single day and give you a non-toxic solution. That is awesome. I love this non-toxic solution because every single thing we put on our body within 26 seconds, it's in our bloodstream. That's why it's so critical to me to have you here and to share this because this is a gem, like she is a gem. She not only is a gem with her products and her passion, but also her story. So tell me a little bit about your story because this is not the typical person that I get to interview every single day. Yeah, so basically a lot of people who have been following me in my business were really shocked um, when I got a cancer diagnosis a year and a half ago. Um, I have breastfed my first two for over two years. Um, I've lived, you know, as far as like my environment, you know, I've, I've taken a lot of toxins out. Toxins out. Um, however, I was diagnosed with breast cancer while breastfeeding my third child. Mm. Um, it actually took four months um, to get diagnosed because wow. I was looking um, for ways, least in, the least invasive ways to find out what was going on. And by the time I actually got diagnosed, um, yeah, my son was eight months old and... Oh, wow. Yeah. What were you experiencing? Can I just have you share with that? Yeah. Is that too personal? No, not I at just, all. I think a lot of women, like this is something that, you know, is, there's a lot of fear placed on any kind of cancer, but especially women when it comes to breast cancer and also um, like, when you know there's so many rampant hormones when you're you know having babies and nursing and whatnot right. like share with me a little bit about that. well um i can i can tell you that I, I think the reason i mean there are various different things where i think i got sick but i think i had way too much stress in my life um and i had a problem with my body eliminating toxins i've never been a, i've never been able to really sweat mm. very much and that's a sign that my body is really good at harboring toxins mm -hmm. and not releasing them. And so um, there's that, and then um, just having a baby and the stress, I think it just triggered um, it, you know, sure. coming, you know, to a diagnosis. So I just, all I had, no pain, no nothing besides a lump in my right breast, that's it. But I saw my breast changing over mm. time and, um, yeah, and then I finally got the diagnosis, um, unfortunately, by a needle biopsy because, sure. you know, have been known to, see, you know, seeding is real. So mm -hmm. that's how I got my diagnosis. Okay. Then what happened after that? Um, so I have been a lover of learning about the human body for years. Like literally while I'm making these products, I would be listening to podcasts just teaching about the human, human body because it's something I like. I, I don't know, excites me and I love learning about and um, I think that's why we get along so well. I mean, right? just because I'm so passionate about your stuff and I love your story and like you're always asking questions about health and whatnot and I get to share my expertise with you. I know. I need to dig in and get more from yeah, you. Yeah, no, I love it. that's great. Um, so uh, I went to Mexico. Actually, this is crazy. So the day that I got diagnosed was the day that we closed on our house to move to Idaho. So two weeks later, we moved here to Idaho. And um, I decided that I was going to just do every, anything in my power um, until I got to a um, natural doctor. And so that's what I did. I just um, started juicing right away. I started um, eating nothing uh, but a plant-based diet. I tried to reduce my stress as much as you can. Um, sure. With a brand new baby and moving. 
right? right. <laughs> and um, I, when I got here, um, I had problems finding actually the doctor that was right for me. And I decided um, just this act of God led me to go to the Hoxie Biomedical Center um, mm. in Tijuana, which mm -hmm. was also featured on uh, tr The Truth About Cancer. Okay. It's a docu-series. Um, if you haven't watched it, please watch it. It's really good. Um, I'll put that link in the description below as well. Yeah, it's for just sure. thetruthaboutcancer.com. If you go there, yeah. you can, can research that. After six weeks on their protocol, for whatever reason, I'm supposed to go there. Like there were so many things that like led me there, but um, that protocol wasn't working. My tumor markers doubled within six weeks, so um, I kind of just kept chucking with things that I was doing before, um, and then I was running every single day, even when it was like 100 degrees out. I was running every single day. I was really pushing my body to like heal and get rid of toxins. Um, but at night, I would get stabbing pains in my liver and my back. I was getting adjusted every week. Um, mm. I had four and five ribs out of place. And my chiropractor, he had never seen anything like that. He's like, there's something wrong. Like, we should do, um, they got a MRI without contrast on my upper thoracic. And I had over 30 lesions on my liver, the mm. biggest one being 1.3 centimeters. And I had um, lesions in my... Um, upper thoracic as well. Wow. Oh my gosh. Is this just, I mean, I think every single person right now has so much compassion listening to this. I mean, because, I mean, you are a living testimony right now of going through what most people's nightmare is and living it and, and still staying positive. And I can imagine, I'm emotional just hearing it, the amount of fear, but also like desperate hope. You're searching for hope. And, um, so, so you have all these different lesions, then, then what do you do? So um, I, I had a, uh, a practitioner that I was seeing that would like just monitor my health. Mm -hmm. And he told me, he goes, either I'm going to tell you to get an oncology team right now, or you have to go down to Mexico again in the next two weeks, it's, it's dire. And so within 10 days, I crowdfunded my, the money because everything is you know cash out of pocket. Mm -hmm. And um, I got myself down to Hope for Cancer, and that's in Tijuana. They have one in Cancun as well. Mm -hmm. um, and that was also on the um, Truth About Cancer. This one is a little more of a thorough clinic. They have um, seven key principles, being emotional, detoxification, oxygen oxygenation, um, nutrition, um, I don't know if I saw this yet, emotional, spiritual healing. Anyway, they have all sure. these modalities. Because it's not one thing that makes a person sick, and it's Very not good. one thing that makes a person better. Mm -hmm. So I went to this Hope for Cancer for 21 days. However, I don't know if it was, I don't know what why, but my liver stopped working. It basically mm. shut down. Wow. And so when I got home, I had ascites where your uh, liver stops functioning as it should, and it just weeps the fluid that it would be filtering into your abdomen. Mm. And so I had to get paracentesis where they poke through the, your abdomen wall and drain the liquid. Oh my gosh. And at one point they were draining four and a half liters every three days. Oh my gracious. So yeah. you had pounds of just fluid because your liver wasn't functioning. I looked like I was nine months pregnant. Yeah. yeah. Oh my gosh. So yeah. So that being said, um, I was in a real, you know, I tried all these healing modalities for, um, you know, quite a long Sounds time. Sounds like almost, months. Yeah, yeah. Well, nearly a year. Okay. And I wasn't getting better. It was just being more, it was getting more and more aggressive. And so, again, by just God giving me the right medicine, the right doctors at the right time, I've always been against, you know, any Western medicine. However, um, I can tell you that it, in my case, as a last resort, it's part of the reason that I'm still alive today definitely um so now I have effect you know uh, side effects from having three rounds of chemo and then I do immunotherapy every three weeks immunotherapy has not given me any problems but um just the three rounds of chemo that I had did kill my cancer mm. but my platelets are still very low my neutrophil is very low so I'm having to rebuild my body now mm -hmm. and heal from that 
And what a perfect example of being able to rebuild. I mean, that's why we have Western medicine. It's for crisis care. And and you were in a crisis. I mean, that is amazing. And um, and it's such it can be such a bridge at the same time. It obviously was a great bridge for you. Um, And now you can do the natural remedies and natural things to rebuild your body even more, which is amazing. And that's why I'm so excited that can I You've already probably announced what you're doing, right? Well, actually, I haven't. I haven't announced, but okay. we are about to announce. So go ahead, share it. Okay. Yeah. Well, she's doing the. She's going to be opening a wellness clinic with this Libby Bed system, <laughs> and I felt like when I did that at a different clinic, that it was a key that got unlocked in my body that um, I needed to continue healing further, and I saw. Kind go of, ahead, <laughs> share it. You know what? I saw liver flukes leave my body. And I knew that because they were bright red, and I saw hundreds of them with this Libby system that she's gonna have at her wellness clinic. Um, I'm so excited for that because. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) So basically, um, you know, one of the things through my own personal journey, I've gone and done a ton of different modalities. It sounds like you're very, you know, familiar with a lot of them. You know, when I was um, 20, I was in the hospital with spinal meningitis, and then for a couple, three years later, I basically was in and out of the ER with all these different random issues, and uh, nothing could pinpoint what was really going on, and I suffered the ramifications of the side effects of these medications that I was on, and I started um, pretty much I got to the place of no hope and what I did was then decide to start reaching out to any and everything kind of like you I started going to acupuncturist herbalist craniosacral therapist colon hydrotherapy I was doing everything and one of the key things that helped me was being able to eliminate my bowels really really well and um, because I was on antibiotics for over a year straight which destroyed everything in my gut so I was like you but I would have to take my pants off every night because I would just blow to the point my legs would swell three sizes a time of what they were three sizes bigger than what they really are and um, so I started doing a lot of different protocols and one of the best ways to eliminate the excess waste was colon hydrotherapy so that's what she's talking yeah. about we're gonna implement this in we, we are implementing in our yeah, clinic it was only through the five consecutive days so I would mm. say just going once you're not going to really you're gonna be like going like just touching, touching yeah. the surface, but the you know the the more you um, go, it was like by day five, um, it was you know just like liver bile coming out, and it was just yeah. like I could see just like my liver, um, yeah, it was getting better, and yeah. this is crazy. So I did nothing different other than that therapy, um, and my platelets have been always low um, from after the chemo. Um, they were always around like. 89, 92, 94, and the low side of normal is 150. Oh, wow. So they were really low. Yeah. Um, and this last time they were 110, which has not happened in over a year. Wow. So that was That like, was key. So she packed a bunch of pathogens, and all of a sudden her body was able to heal, and her liver was able to function better. Mm-hmm. That's if amazing. Your working better, then you can create platelets. Yes, so. absolutely. Wow, is this not amazing? What I want you to do is I want you right now to make sure you hit the subscribe button and also hit the little bell so you get our notifications every single week. Also, be sure to um, share this with other strong fellow mamas because we have something really exciting. And thank you for sharing that. That was that's a lot. Yeah, there's and you've a lot been more through... to my story. So yeah. if you are interested, um, I do have an Instagram where I shared basically just my story and I probably should do a better job of sharing but um it's cmb like crunchy mama bear cmb healing journey all one word oh i love that so thank you you. go and check out kind of like the side by side photos of like when i was really sick to when i got better and wow i'm so proud of you for documenting that as well because that's I mean, it's a lot to go through and then to have to relive that, to share it and talk about it. It's a lot. So anyways, being this mama, she is also an entrepreneur. And I actually reached out to her. I had no idea about her story before I reached out to her. And I was like, you know what? I found her on Facebook and I absolutely loved some of the products. Um, What caught me the most was the fact that it's all natural, it's health and beauty, 
It's all about just really giving your body what you need from the outside in. And, and that's really critical because we talk a lot about healing from the inside out, but a lot of people don't realize that what we put on our skin and on our body really affects us like right. big time. Right. So will you share with us um, some of these products? Yeah, so I will start with the one that I told her is that if I were to sell and make only one product, it would be this. Um, it would be my deodorant and detox. Um, because so many women, you know, from 12, 13, 14 years old, have been using clinical strength antiperspirants. So what you're telling your body when you're using antiperspirant to stop a natural body process. And what that antiperspirant is doing, yes, it's you know not allowing you to smell, but it is trapping those toxins into your lymphatic system lymphatic system in your breast tissue did you so know, it's not letting you sweat right ah. and did you know that um, breast cancer 75% of it is actually found right in this region really yes so here we are since we're 10 11 12 13 years old starting to put all these antiperspirant chemicals and toxins and metals so what what is in the typical suave or typical um, product like like why would you want something natural then well, you're going to get petrochemicals with the actual just waxes and they're getting, you know, they're, the, what they're using as far as that. And then you're going to get um, synthetic fragrances. Mm. You're also going to get aluminum. Tell me about aluminum. Yeah. Why? I mean, Aluminum, that's... well, it, it has been scientifically linked um, to um, breast cancer and Alzheimer's. So, wow. Yes, because it's a heavy metal and if it goes into the body, it goes right, it has an, a high affinity to fat and that's the brain and that's the tissue. This is where our fat is the most for women. Right. Wow. I just put right. the two together. So that's, that's yeah. crazy. So that's like the typical deodorant on the shelf out in the store that if you're buying, you really need to look into this. And this right. is the perfect solution. So a lot of women also tell me this, Rebecca. I started using the so-and-so deodorant, but I still stink. Like it's not good enough. So tell me about that. Okay. So what's your remedy? What's my remedy? Okay. Yeah. This is my remedy and I've just made it real as easy as I can for people um, because I really want them to be successful. So I've actually helped that. I, I mean, it sounds weird, but I've helped thousands of people all over uh, the nation make the switch successfully. Yay. And, so you've so, made, helped them make the switch to natural yeah. deodorant so they're not so stinky. Right. And so. Um, even men, women, like they can do it if, if they, you know, follow instructions, which I have right here. Aww. So um, I've made this armpit detox mask and it's a blend of clay, charcoal and essential oils that you whip up and I always provide a little wooden spoon and you just mix it up and it'll make like a paste and you just wipe it in your armpits and you can even spot treat if you have any issues. Oh, wow. Um, so tell us a little bit how this armpit detox mask works. Okay, so again, you're gonna just mix it into um, a little, you know, ceramic dish or glass dish, and then I like to just wear like a tank top and stuff paper towels in the side. You just mix it into a paste and then wipe it into your armpits, and you can go and do dishes or whatever you want, and then you can just simply, after 15 minutes, wipe it off of your armpits, and you will know that you've done a good detox when you no longer have that pungent. BL. Yeah. So um, I say three to consecutive days, and then like once a month thereafter, just to maintain to do a good general de uh, detox. That's amazing. So this mask helps detox your armpits, so then the deodorant can work more effectively. Yes, and you're not gonna because you were saying that people often say they struggle with that it doesn't work or I stink worse, yeah. and that's because you're now on the body to release those toxins that have maybe been stored in your body for who knows how long, 20 years, yeah. 15 years, yeah. I don't know. So this, That is so cool. And get this, it's only $20 for the whole setup. So you get the instructions, the wooden spoon, the detox mask, and choice of deodorant for $20. I love it, and some of these choice of deodorants are amazing. Like this citrus spice, like it, I almost want to eat it. Like that's how good it yeah. smells. And they're only made with pure essential oils. And so yeah, um, I love that. the citrus spice was geared towards men, but like I would wear it. Yeah, yeah absolutely. So yeah, so there's quite a few, like there's peppermint and tea tree. Which there's... is really nice if your body warms up. It has a cooling sensation. Oh, so mama's with hot flashes? Yes. Or there you go, or mom's just like any mom. Yeah. yeah, okay, very good. Um, and then the Frankincense and Myrrh does have a pink ribbon because of its known anti-tumor, anti-cancer properties. 
So. Very good. Yes. Yeah. So we know through research that frankincense and myrrh are extremely good with helping the body um, heal from from different um, pathogens right. and, and different ailments. Right. And I do need to mention too, I don't formulate my um, deodorants with baking soda like a, a lot of oh. um, natural ones do. Um, I actually formulate it with magnesium hydroxide. So it helps to balance the pH and neutralize odor. However, it's not pennies like baking soda is. Sure. But baking soda, there's nothing wrong with it. It's just that it can cause um, skin irritation. And so people will also break out in rash over time when using yeah. a natural juice with baking soda. Wow. So you did a lot of research to really understand what the body needs. Oh, yeah. oh my gosh. And this I is probably my favorite. Wow. Lemongrass and lime. That's amazing. And I was formulating these actually when I was pregnant and I had to test on my husband. <laughs> there has been a lot. I have sacrificed. Yeah. <laughs> I've been like going to my husband's arm and like smelling. I'm doing this job. That's awesome. Oh my gosh. Yeah. This is, this is so fun. So this is fresh and sweet. It's kind of geared more towards Oh, teens. I love that. It's wintergreen, clove, and peppermint. So it kind of smells like root beer, but I call it fresh and sweet. Oh, it's great. Oh my gosh, you guys have no idea. Like, I, these are, this is amazing. And, then, and tell me about how often do you have to apply these then? I just say do a couple light swipes. Okay. Um, and typically as needed, but most people just use it once a day and they're fine, especially yeah. after they've gone through the detox. Maybe when you're going through the detox, you might have to do a second application because you're detoxing. That's amazing. And, and tell me what the sensation is because I've used a lot of natural deodorants and some of them are like really slimy. Some of them are like, so give me an idea. Are, they're, they're creamy. Um, oh, so nice. I, I, so I just say, you know, just make sure that you're either going like this or actually rubbing it in sure. and you won't have any transfer as long as it's rubbed into the skin, but it's nice oh. spice and cream. You can even you can try it. Oh no, so, I'm good right now. I'll get. A, I'll bring it for sure. Catherine Gallagher with this one. Oh. I say if you're being stressed, you can go like this <laughs> and smell it. <laughs> this is lavender. Very good. Very good. So yes, you can. Lavender is very good to help with stress. Awesome. So you have more products here. Um, a couple things. I am really interested in this because I love magnesium oil. And share a little bit why you did magnesium. So this is I a magnesium have, body lotion. I, mean, I do have a magnesium oil spray. Um, it, what, with the spray, you're going to have a little bit more residue. Um, also, it's very potent. So for people who have not even done anything like that, it can be a little too intense. Mm -hmm. So this, you get the lotion, you get the magnesium, um, and you can put it all over your body. And it shouldn't, as long as you haven't had freshly shaved skin, it shouldn't affect you in any negative way. Um, so magnesium has over 300 biochemical reactions in our body and most people especially women are deficient in magnesium mm -hmm. and it helps with the basic function of the nerves and the muscles mm -hmm. um, it has been known to help with things like sleep and stress also um, and then this one um, with the peppermint um, because of anti-inflammatory properties um, I really like to suggest to people who are dealing with pain aches and pains mm -hmm. um, and so yeah and I I've even that. had people say like that were pregnant um, they rub it over their belly and helps with nausea that's, I would like to, to do it for menstrual cramps. Like, I love it. That's awesome. Yeah. Wow, cool. Okay, and then we have a couple other things that I really feel like you need to share. Talk to us about this facial cleanser and the, the cleansing facial oil. Right. So I feel like a lot of people like want to use these nice products, but they're not really sure, you know, like as far as I say nice products, I mean non-toxic products, yes. but they're not sure like who they can trust. Um, I. Yeah, I have a lot of people with sensitive skin, people who are very chemically sensitive as well, mm. um, that do very good with my products. Um, this uh, facial cleanser uses raw local honey, sweet orange, and chamomile, and it's in a Castile soap, and it has a natural preservative in it, preservative in it that is made from fermented radish root. <laughs> and so um, this, it just has a nice leather, and even men like to use it. Awesome, that's awesome. Um, my skin really likes this facial oil cleanser. Um, I actually use it at night. It just melts off my makeup. It actually can do a deeper cleanse. Like if you have any dead skin, like a, a sebum, yeah. um, it can go out and clean out your pores and leaves your skin really just soft and clean. So do you so, just spray that on your face no. to wipe off? Or no, you, I pump it. Oh, you pump yeah, it. Okay. Then you massage your face and then oh. you have the um, warm, hot washcloth and you kind of 
take some inhalations because okay. it has lavender and rosemary in there. Oh, and so it's nice. like a, it just opens everything yeah. up and it makes you feel really good too. Yeah. So. Oh, I love that. And and it's so much better than the say Noxzema and the other things that people are so using that are, yeah. yeah, me too. I had no idea how toxic that really is. It's crazy. Right. All right. Yeah. Tell um, us about that. So I have this next is that herbal facial mist and a generate the colloidal silver that's actually in here. It has witch hazel that's infused with hibiscus, lavender, rose, and comfrey. Okay. And so it's made for the face to disinfect the face. Um, to sh the witch hazel helps in shrink minimizing pores. Mm -hmm. um, and it just preps your skin for anything else you use. And it feels really good yeah. too. And it's so obvious you use your products because your skin is gorgeous. I mean, there's no wrinkles. Like I would never have guessed you've gone through the amount of trauma that you have. I mean, your skin looks amazing. And it's very typical after somebody has gone through, because I've worked with a lot of people that have gone through a lot of health issues, their skin, you know, it, it's, if your skin is the major organ in your body with detoxification, your skin is the largest organ. Right. And, um, and so often you can see the aging process happen on the skin, especially, especially after chemo. Yes, yeah. chemo and stuff like that. And it's amazing that you well, do it's, a lot of juicing too. So yes, you do. Keeping yes. hydrated inside out is also key. Yes, absolutely. Okay. Keep on going. Okay. I'm, and I put this on the back of your hand earlier yes. and it's called tired as a mother and it's organic coffee mm -hmm. eye cream. Um, it's just a lightweight eye cream that um, is great for moisturizing in that sensitive area. It helps with depuffing and oh, yeah. uh, dark circles and such. So instead of the cucumbers over the eyes, you can just use that? Yeah, a cool. little easier than chopping up the cucumber. Yeah, anyway. yeah, slimy. Okay, okay. cool. Um, so I have face masks that um, I really like to pamper myself at least once a week, you know. It helps okay. to purge out the skin if it has any toxins in it, and it, and it um, helps with uh, free radical damage. Uh, yeah. and, you know, some damage and such. Um, so I really like them. This Give Matcha Love, actually, part of the proceeds go back to help um, battered women and children. Okay. Um, so that's what, this is special. Um, but it has geranium rose in there. It has uh, coconut milk. It has lemon. It has um, French green clay and matcha. And it smells Wow. It smells, smells so good. very good. So they're dry, very yeah, they're dry. Yeah, they're dry powder masks. So that means that they will be good for a very long time and you can mix it with whatever liquid that you prefer so with hydrosol water coconut milk, what do you do typically water okay i'm a mom of three so yeah. my like, who has time for extra yeah no that's great <laughs> and that's the thing is i'm a minimalist um i really like I, I, and i can maintain this you know yeah. i can maintain i just you know with, with whatever and it's so nice to like you know, once in a while, pamper yourself. We all need to mm -hmm. do more self-care. And so Absolutely. having that accessibility in your own home is wonderful. Yeah, that's huge because I'm somebody that, I'm sorry, but when the lights, when the sun sets, I'm not ready to go out and do stuff. Like this is, that's the time where I just want to kind of chill and relax. Yeah, but yes, love, yeah. this is the perfect kind of um, scenario for a mama like that, that just really doesn't want to have to go and get pampered, but you can actually do it right there yeah. in your own home. This is This so is neat. my favorite mask, the avocado glow that you it just smell. It smells amazing. Yeah, it has frankincense, lavender, peppermint. It has the coconut milk, aloe vera, so it's gonna help with inflammation. It's gonna like just make your skin feel so soft and glowy. Yeah. And what I was saying, you have, you have a spa in your house, so I sell these little cute ceramic bowls and all the masks come with a wooden spoon. And I do sell the application brushes. And so you can have, this makes it feel oh. so much more spa-like when you're yeah. in the house. Yeah, <laughs> no, I love that. And Rebecca is such a trooper right now. My kids just came home and like they're slamming doors and you're able to focus and I'm so Did sorry. Did I mention I have my three children are boys? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. okay. Yeah. So <laughs> yes, so it, it gets intense. So if you are hearing some ruffles and some um, slamming of doors, that is, that's my kids in the back. So anyways, we'll just, we'll just leave it at that. That's my life. So if you, I was just on an airplane and why would you need something like this? This smelled amazing when you put it in my hands. I would never have guessed it was a hand sanitizer. So a lot of our hand sanitizers, I honestly, from being in and out of hospitals, um, mm. I've been a little traumatized with your traditional hand sanitizers. The Pyrex or Purex uh, or whatever. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's not and, good. Well, and, and, and it's not good for you. No, um, it's not. So this um, is made with witch hazel, aloe vera, and it has rosemary, lavender, clove, lemon, and cinnamon, and eucalyptus. And so, yeah. It smells amazing, just, you guys. Like, like, I would never have thought it was a hand sanitizer. And, it, I mean, 
It's so awesome. And those those oils are, are wonderful and they're not harsh to the skin because I know what it's like, especially when I had my clinic, I would have to go and wash my hands constantly, like after every single person, and or use some sort of hand sanitizer, which just chews up your hands. And I mean, they're so toxic to the body yeah. and they really ruin the microbiome or the healthy bacteria in your skin where these right. oils that you have in this concoction, there's, yeah. it's just amazing. Even my two-year-old will use it all to spray his hands and he knows to go like this and it's like, Aww. you know, I just sit there and spray the kids and then they're good. Yeah. And they all love it and use it. Yeah. Um, so I have this in a plastic one for like throwing in your purse or okay. backpack. Okay. Um, I also do sell it in the glass just for people who um, would prefer to use glass. Sure. Products. Yeah. And um, I do have one last thing for the pan, yeah. the skincare. Yeah. Um, and these are, so the eye cream and these, this duo are probably my top sellers for skincare. And so, so you said the tired as a mother, which goes around the eyes. Yeah. And what is that one? So, and I use all my products too, day and night. The only time I actually only rinse my face in the morning, I do the oil cleanser at night and I just rinse my face um, oh, wow. during the morning. Okay. Um, the Castile cleanser I will use like a lot of times in the summer, like in the morning time. Okay. So that's just Good my know. preference because Idaho uh, winters are really dry. Yes. So. And they're harsh on our skin because <laughs> there's some wind and dry. Yes. 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 So um, the plumping facial toner I use after the mist, you want to use it on slightly damp skin, okay. but it's hyaluronic acid, organic rose hydrosol, rose hip and rose oil. Wow. And um, it helps to lock in moisture, helps to fill in fine lines and wrinkles, and just really um, has a calming effect on your skin. And it's high in vitamin A, which is great yes. for free oh. radical damage. Yep, I was just gonna say antioxidants. Yeah. That's great. Um, and then this is my hydration step. So it's a healing, hydrating facial serum. It's good for people who have um, psoriasis, dermatitis, eczema, mm. um, and it's good for all skin types. We think of putting oil on our face for already like acne prone is bad. No, no. this is great because it actually penetrates the skin and actually heals the skin. Um, and so it's organic cold pressed hemp seed, organic cold pressed carrot seed, frankincense, patchouli, and lavender. So wow. it smells just I don't know. It smells very like calming and mm -hmm. like I don't know. I love I love it. No, I want to smell it again. Oh yeah, that's great. So, and a little bit goes a long way too. So sure. Like just a few drops, and might go down the neck. And if you have a gua sha tool, and I sell those too, but if you have one already, it's great after the serum to use a gua sha tool to help oh. with that congestion in the yes. in this area and then in the face as well. And we'll put that in a link below because that is a really great idea. I never thought to tell people about a gua sha tool for their own neck. That's amazing. Yeah, I do a lot of dry night. Great. Yeah. Okay, I do a lot of dry skin brushing and stuff mm -hmm. like that. So you also have sunscreen. All natural sunscreen. I know that this isn't the season for sunscreen, yeah. but I, I think it's it available for sale as far as until I run out. Yeah. yeah, and I think that's absolutely wonderful. That's what caught my eye because I know so many mamas. Um, you know, I just I go to the pool and I see all these moms spraying their kids, and I mean, there's so many so many issues with the chemicals in them. But also, it destroys your ability to make the vitamin D you need, and you know, etc. We won't go into that. We'll do a whole nother. Um, interview on that so yeah. we can kind of share that amazing yeah. my son bought her i send it all over the nation um it really it works and um you're not putting anything that's hurting you yeah on your skin. so it has the physical yeah we'll talk about that later but yeah no it's that's great. great it's whipped with aloe vera too so actually as you are putting that on your skin it's helping to heal your skin and then prevent it from further damage yeah no i love that and then you have this which is amazing this is lip balm which I'm so excited you're giving this to me. Little, That's okay. A little too far. I love it. I love the smell of it, but I really love it because my girls are in that stage of like wanting to steal every single lip balm, you know, from right. us, from my husband and I. So I'm, I'm super excited. Thank you you're so welcome. much. This is amazing. I, I am truly honored and grateful and blessed to be able to mm -hmm. not only know you from your story, but also to know your passion and to help other women and mamas and their children, because that's really what it's about is to start educating and giving you guys the um, tools and to give you empowerment and to equip you with a menagerie of different things so you can transform your own personal health and also your children's health. So what I want you to do right now, is there anything you want to share? I just want to say that, you know, it's like I was sharing in Kara, I was like, I don't care if you're on my deodorant or someone else's. Like, I just want to get people on products that aren't going to hurt you um, because we think, you know, oh, I use Jergens and that's okay because, you know. Or Johnson & Johnson whatever, you know, or whatever I, it is. I just is, don't yeah. think about it, but these, uh, you know, be, going through what I've gone through physically, mm -hmm. you know, I see that 
you know, a, a little bit of toxicity here and there and there and there. We don't realize how bombarded we are over time, and it does affect our health, our mental health, our physical health, everything. And so, um, I just want to see people well. I want to see people um, treating their body well because we don't mm. realize until we take it for you know we take it for granted. Um, what it's like to be able to run until it's taken away from us. Like there was mm. one point where I couldn't walk up the stairs and now I sprint up the stairs because it's like, you know, it's a, it's a gift. Mm. It's a mm. gift for, um, to have health, but you have to have, make conscious choices with yeah. what you're using and what you're doing, what you're thinking um, oh, every day. I love that. I, I have goosebumps. Thank you. It makes me emotional because it really is. I mean, we are, what we have is such a gift and this is a gift and our bodies are a gift and truly temples to be able to house our spirits. So thank you. Yes. I'm super excited. So what I want you guys to do right now is I want you to hit the thumbs up because this was amazing. Thumbs up right now. And also make sure you hit the subscribe button so you get my, our weekly posts every single week. Go to my website, holisticdoctormama.com. Subscribe there for my weekly blogs. Visit me on Facebook and Instagram and also so make sure you go to Rebecca's website. Will you share that? Yeah. So I have an Instagram and it is the Crunchy Mama Bear. Um, I also have an Etsy website and it's Crunchy Mama Bear um, and CrunchyMamaBear.com. I know I have all these. No, that's great. I love it. But lots of Crunchy Bear. Lots of Crunchy Mama Bear. I know. Crunchy Mama Bear. And I Crunchy remember. Crunchy is a heavy term for like natural minded granola and <clears> such. Like no, that's a, no, I love it. Yeah. I absolutely love it. All right, guys. I'm wishing you well. Have a wonderful day. Bye. Bye.